Hey guys and welcome back to True Roots Training. Today's video is going to be on posture check and proper form. Before starting any kind of fitness program, it is essential to be aware of proper static posture and basic biomechanics. The purpose behind this is to help you identify any dysfunction within the human movement system. Not only prevent injury, but to help you discover your physical goals and needs as well as establish a baseline or a starting point for your fitness program and set you up with realistic expectations. So I wanna start off by covering the five checkpoints of the kinetic chain. We have the head and the neck, the shoulders, the hips, the knees, and the feet and the ankles. So let's go over those. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can get a good profile view here. We'll start with the head and the neck. Start by drawing your chin straight back to pull your head back. So you don't want to drop that chin down, but you don't want to tilt your head back either. So imagine someone holding dog poo in front of your face. What's your first reaction going to be? You're going to retract back. Good, so those ears should be right over those shoulders. All right, moving on, the shoulders. They should be depressed down away from your ears and retracted. All right, down to the hips. The hips should be slightly tucked so they're directly underneath your shoulders. So you don't want an excessive arch in that low back and you don't want an excessive posterior tilt either rounding in that low back. So bring those hips nice and neutral, slight tuck underneath the shoulders. Moving down to the knees, I'm gonna turn towards you here. The knees, we don't want to be bowing outward we don't want them collapsing inward. They should be directly under your hips. And lastly, the feet and the ankles. There should be no turnout in your toes or turn in, nor should there be excessive supination or excessive pronation or collapsing of the arch. They should be flat and neutral. So there are three common associated postural syndromes that I'm going to cover in a future video. But just to touch on those lightly, I'm gonna start with the first one, upper cross syndrome. That is when you have excessive forward head and rounded or protracted shoulders. Two, lower cross syndrome, which is when you have excessive arching in that low back and anterior pelvic tilt. And three, pronation distortion syndrome, which is when you have excessive collapsing of the arches of the feet. Again, going to touch on those in a future video. Now that we have a really good understanding of the five kinetic checkpoints, I want to talk about the power pose, or as I like to refer to it as, your superhero stance, ready for anything, can't be knocked over, strong, confident position. So here's how you do the power pose. First, you want to make sure that you have all five kinetic checkpoints properly aligned. Let me demonstrate. You're going to assume a shoulder width position with your toes facing forward. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see here. You're going to have a slight bend in those knees, a slight tuck in those hips. You're going to engage your core about 25% by drawing in and bracing. Pull those shoulders back, proud chest, tall posture, and a neutral glance. Elbows soft at your sides, and optional, you can make fists. This is your power pose. You're strong, you're rigid throughout your frame, you're grounded through your heels, rooted to the ground like a tree. A really good way to test this is to have someone come and try to push you. If you're unmoving, if you're secure, you're doing it right. This is a position that you should assume before you drop into that squat, before you hinge for that deadlift, while you're doing an overhead press. Okay, the power pose is going to be your best friend for your workouts. Now I'm going to demonstrate proper technique for six functional movements. All right, the squat, perhaps the most basic and functional exercise of them all. Now there are quite a few components here to pay attention to. So let's start by assuming a shoulder width position. Toes are facing forward. We're gonna begin by bending at the knees and dropping those hips down behind the heels. While you're doing this, observe your knees. Check to see if they're collapsing inward or if they're bowing outward and try to recenter so those knees are right over those feet. Now, turning to the side, same concepts apply. Toes are straight, 
We're gonna start by bending those knees, dropping the hips. Now, while you're doing this, make sure your core is engaged, your posture is tall, your spine is neutral. Dropping the hips way back behind those heels. Make sure those knees aren't extending over your toes, okay? So knees stay behind the toes, dropping the booty back, neutral spine, tall posture. I like to do prayer hands in front of my chest with my elbows down. And a little tip here, bringing those elbows to the tops of your knees helps to remind you that your knees are in check, okay? So one more time, coming up, you're assuming that tall, confident posture. And we're gonna bend at the knees, dropping the hips, coming down, maybe elbows to the tops of the knees, and back up. And a little squeeze at the top here always helps. All right, and that is the squat. Next up are lunges. I'm gonna turn to the sides, you get that profile view again. Let's begin with a hip width stance. Let's take a big step back, about three feet or so. And we're gonna bend that back knee, dropping it straight down to the ground. So here I want you to check your knees. You should have 90 degree knees on both knees. You're tall and confident in that posture, neutral spine, your core is slightly engaged. Toes are straight, so no turn in, no turn out. Knee is lined up with those toes. And I want you to put emphasis of pressure in that heel. Okay, so let's come up and load back down, check all those points again. Knees, toes, posture check, perfect. All right, that's your lunge. All right, next up, the deadlift. A very technical movement, so pay close attention. We're gonna turn to the side for that profile view. You're gonna assume a hip width stance with your toes facing forward. Slight bend in those knees. Keep that posture nice and tall, neutral spine. We're gonna hinge at the hips, bringing the torso forward, almost parallel to the floor. All right, now here, I want you to be mindful of your shoulder and back position. So the shoulders aren't coming out of the joint and you're not rounding in your, in your back or dropping your head. You're gonna pull those shoulders back, lock those lats back, and neutralize your gaze out in front of you. All right, great, core is engaged here as well. And we're going to come back up. Let's try that again. All right, here we go. Soft bend in those knees. Tall in that posture, shoulders are back and down. Core is engaged. Here we go, begin, begin the hinge. Reaching forward, neutral gaze remaining. Bringing that torso about parallel to the floor. Now, if you feel a lot of tightness back here and that's causing you to round, a good way to fix that is to just bend those knees a little bit more as you hinge forward. Okay, so let's demonstrate. Bending those knees a little more as we hinge forward, okay? And back up. Beautiful. And that is a proper deadlift. All right, moving on to the push. I'm gonna demonstrate this by doing a good old fashioned push up for you on the ground. So let's bring those knees together. Take those hands out in front of you with a wide finger spread. You're gonna bring the chest between your thumbs. Now, optional, you can lift those knees off the floor or down in a modified. So long as you keep those legs together and squeeze those glutes, you're tucking those hips so you're not arching in that low back with your booty up in the air, okay? but you're not dropping those hips with the collapsed lower back either. Nice and neutral, core is tight and engaged, glutes are engaged. Now, it's really important to be mindful of your head position here. If your head is dropping forward like this, do your best to tuck that chin back, like I told you about smelling that dog poo. Tuck that chin back and look out in front of you. About two feet out in front of you will help to keep that neck in check. All right, here we go. Let's try that again. Lower down and back up. Again, remember that lower back, neutral spine, neutral hips here. One more time. Lower down and back up. Good, and that is a proper push. Moving on, it's the opposite of the push, which is a pull. Now I'm just gonna demonstrate this freestanding here. I'm gonna go to the side. All right, we're gonna start by taking those arms out in front. So a couple things to be mindful of. I want you to soften up those knees a little bit. We're gonna tuck those hips, engage that core here. 
arms are extended out in front of you again. Want to make sure you're not pulling that shoulder out of the joint, okay? And rounding in that upper back and bringing that head forward. You want to pull those shoulders back, lock those lats, and tuck that chin back, okay? And then you're going to pull into the chest and retract the shoulder blades, but also depress the shoulders. So shoulders aren't elevated up here. This is what we want to avoid. Shoulders elevating, okay, rounding, head forward. This is what you don't want in that pull. All right, so one more time, tall in that posture, proud in the chest, shoulders are locked back. And we're going to pull, elbows come past your back. You're going to retract those shoulder blades and keep those shoulders back and down. Okay, here we go again. And pull, retract and squeeze. Nice, long neck here, tall posture through out. And that is how you do a proper basic pull. Last but certainly not least, the plank. Now there's a lot of variations you can do with the plank position, but I'm just gonna demonstrate the standard high plank. All right, so let's come down on the knees. Bring those hands out in front of you in about a shoulder width position. Bring those shoulders directly over those wrists. Go ahead and elevate, bring those knees off the floor. Legs should be all the way together, just like that push up. Squeeze the glutes, pinch the penny, rock the walnut, hips are tucked, navel is drawn in, abs are bracing. Beautiful, good, all right. Neutral spine, neutral neck. You're not dropping your head. Okay, retracting back, looking out in front of you, neutral gaze. One additional tip I wanna give you here. Be mindful of your shoulders. I want you to round that upper back. Think of pulling your shoulder blades apart rather than the shoulder blades collapsing and you have that gapping or that winging in the, in the shoulder blades. All right, so here we go. So you're not here where the shoulders are unstable. You're gonna push through the palms, pull the shoulder blades apart, almost round that upper back. Okay, shoulders are strong, stable, engaged. Perfect. All right, and that is a proper plank position. All right, you guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you found value in this content. And for more awesome stuff like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my tribe. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you next time.